Hello, you're watching Manix channel and today we are going to be featuring some cassettes brought to you by Manix Favourite Hits. Up first we have a collection of Norm Macdonald appearances on David Letterman, uh, Kenan O'Brien, uh, stand-up routines and also some highlights from Norm Macdonald's award-winning uh, podcast, The Norm Show. As you can see, uh, we've switched to a half-inch uh, hook on the J card here. And that is in order to feature the lovely cassettes that happen to be inside of these uh, cassette cases. And uh, this is a 1985 D90. Uh, very lovely. Uh, let me just pop that out here. As you can see, it has a lovely etching inside of the casing, the shell of the, the cassette. Uh, very classic, classic cassette. It's a Type 1. But we figured we didn't need the most supreme audio quality since we are rendering uh, dialogue from uh, uploads of VHS uh, quality audio, uh, not uh, too high end. It's talking. It don't need to be that good. And TD, not to say that TDKD is bad. It's actually quite good. Um, but, you know, as they say. Up next we have the Wayne B-Sides and Royalties Volume 1 and this is uh, based off of uh, Wayne's first cassette release, The Crucial Squidgy Lip. Right, we have that uh, funny looking character, the little giving us a little wave there, but instead of, uh, we felt as though the Bugnish had not been uh, quite a part of the Wayne mythos yet and I think if it was at the time it would have been Bugnish waving back at us instead of that uh, limey bastard. Uh, as you can see, really paid homage to it. You can see the text is very similar to... It's actually, I believe that is exact to the original uh, Squidgy Lip uh, release. You can see we have the Birds of Prey records, uh, BC-032. We also have that half-inch uh, J-card hook featuring the Birds of Prey Records uh, logo, which was Ween's early uh, production company uh, with the Manic's favorite hits. And this actually, uh, we want to feature the it's a 1988 TDK SAX90. It's a Type 2 Chrome, a little bit better, actually quite a lot better sound quality. Although a lot of the tracks on here, they are B-sides, so they were actually rendered to uh, on a four track cassette tape recorder so the quality is you know it wasn't quite there to begin with but Alan Mannix wanted these cassettes to sound as good as possible so we put them on a more higher end cassette and uh, let me just pop this out here again it's a 1988 TDK SAX look at that cassette very modern very chic very lovely uh, very good sound quality, these cassettes. 1988 SAX TDK. Now up next, we have Wayne Space Odds and Rarities Volume 1. As far as the layout of this cassette, it is exactly similar to the volume uh, one except the volume two and uh, this is the 033 we've changed and you know little kind of things like that it still features the uh, 1988 uh, SAX by TDK but we want to keep them similar and the blue and uh, pink theme uh, to keep in line with uh, Ween's first studio release, uh, God Ween Satan, which has a pink and blue. I believe if you get the vinyl, it is a two LP vinyl. One vinyl is uh, pink and one vinyl is blue. Uh, the God Ween Satan, God and Satan. You know, if you want to keep that theme, this is very much an homage by mm -hmm. Alan J. Mannix uh, to Ween. Uh, and that uh, is, these are quite prized by him. I think if he knew I had these out of the box, he would probably, he would do something terrible. 
So, next up, we have an Oingo Boingo cassette. Do you remember Oingo Boingo? This is uh, Danny Elfman, the uh, uh, music producer. He's done uh, the, uh, the Simpsons opening credit song. He did the Batman theme. He did all the music for uh, such films as uh, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Uh, Edward Scissorhands, a lot of work with Tim Burton. This was his band in the 80s, uh, late 70s, early 80s, all the way up into the 90s. Uh, his band Oingo Boingo. And as you can see, the this is probably the best uh, uh, case we've done as far as what has gone into the display. As you can see... Uh, the background is of Oingo Boingo's, I believe, their fourth album, Dead Man's Party. And, and, but this little bugger here, this cat, that is from their second album. Their second album, Nothing to Fear. And if you look, this, uh, uh, African-American gentleman, uh, maybe just African gentleman, maybe, uh, Nigerian, I don't quite know, but this, uh, dark, maybe he's not even black, I'm not sure, but he's very dark, this is from their third album, uh, uh, what is, uh, uh, what album is this? I can't remember, it's their third album, but we've taken these two characters from those album covers and we put them into the Dead Man's Party because the reason why is because this cassette is the best and brightest of Oingo Boingo and Oingo Bo as far as uh, Mannix is concerned he kind of fell out in love with them after the fourth or fifth album they got a little too dark for him he liked the pop and uh, so the this cassette and actually this cat this cat here. The cat is from their second album, Nothing to Fear. And Mannix always loved songs from those albums, but there was a few songs on there that just killed the whole album for him. Killed the whole album. So those songs have been cut from this. And as of 2019, the end of 2019 last year, somebody is uploading pre- they were previously, they were not a part of the original album, but they were released. They were tracks that were withheld from the album, left off. They were the B-sides of those tracks. Well, Maddox has taken off the tracks that he doesn't like from that second album, and he's replaced them with these songs that were held back that he found to be much better. And he's re, he redid the whole second album of Oingo Boingo and is featured on side A of this cassette. And it's quite marvelous. There are lots of uh, B-sides that were never released and you'd never hear. There are the, the highlights of their second, third, and fourth album are on here. Um, and also, this is the creme de la creme. We have the half-inch J-card. And that is to feature a 1986 Triad metal position tape Type 4 MG. X90. These cassettes are very unique. The reason why I went with this cassette is you can see in the text there is a goldish kind of green kind of color for the text and it kind of matches fantastically with the with the the, the visual aspect of this cassette. Um, a beautiful cassette. It uh, metal position type 4 very high-end cassette. Just look at that cassette. That is a beauty. They're very unique cassette. You can, they'll never make cassettes like this ever again. Uh, very good. Um, very good. So that, I mean, just look at that. Look at how that looks in the case. It just looks lovely. It just, as a complete unit, it just, it's unbelievable. It looks so so professional so it's just it was the 1986 tdk m a x 90 was made for this release i'm telling you that right now just beautiful just beautiful you can see 
We The text is there. It says Oingo Boingo Hits. We want to keep it kind of hidden because the art is just so beautiful. We just want to make it. There's Manic's favorite hits. We just wanted to blend right in because it just, it's, this is really the highlight of this series. But that's not all. As we all know, back in uh, Mannix's younger days, uh, he loved the Misfits, loved Glenn Denzig Misfits. Uh, not a fan of that, uh, uh, what happened later. But this is all Danzig era, uh, Danzig era Misfits collection. It has been called Misfits Ultimate Hits. It is excluding maybe you know, four songs out of that entire collection. There's rare songs on here that were never actually released. And um, you can see, and this is another case with that triad. You have to see this. Another Half Inch J called to feature. You can see Plan 9, which is their production company back in the 70s. Manic's favorite hits, but look at that. This is a Type 2. Type 2 Triad EMX. It's metal formulation, so you're getting a metal sound out of a normal position type. And look at that red. Look at how it just blends right in with the case. It's just quite lovely. It's quite lovely. I, it, we've been so excited. Once again, I would like to say that, that the, the Triad uh, EMX is, you know, it was made for this release. It was made for this release. And um, so that's, uh, those are the cassettes that we've been working on. The Misfits, Oingo Boingo, the Ween Collection. These will be sold as a pair. And of course, the greatest comedian of all time, Norm MacDonald. We'd like to thank you for tuning in to this uh, Mannix Channel presentation of these lovely cassettes. Um, they are not for sale. Sorry, we don't have the rights to sell them. They are part of Alan Mannix's own personal collection. He owns all these tracks, copies of them. You know, he's not selling them. There is no uh, infringement or, or, or money being made off of these. These are all a part of his collection. Maybe, you know, we see you know, the enthusiasm, and maybe someone takes notice and, you know, we could start selling these and putting them out to the public. But uh, for now, it's just something uh, lovely uh, to look forward to and to see and to just, you know, be a part of. But uh, thank you for tuning in to uh, Mannix Channel. Uh, Alan Mannix uh, couldn't be here today. He's out uh, doing the uh, Independence Day celebrations. And uh, thank you for coming into our studio and stay tuned for more.